Hello everyone, on this video I will show you guys very very simple repeater setup and how to make the query loop inside the Bricks Builder. So let's check the post type first. I created a Teams post type. Let's check. And let's create repeater as well. Let's imagine there are names and some team. There will be multiple teams, okay team fields so this can be person name and then this is going to be repeater teams saved okay so let's add couple example let's call this team one and it's name one name two name three okay let's publish why not and uh, I think we need to save the permalink. I just created the post type. Sometimes we have to do that. Let's um, refresh. Yeah, restore. Why not? No, I didn't completely. Let's refresh. One. Two. Name three and team one publish. Yep, it was the permalink. And when you create, they keep it in mind like this is not just SNM bricks, actually, other uh, post type register plugins like ACF or pods and stuff. You sometimes you have to, like, when you create the post type or the taxonomy, uh, the tags and terms and stuff, you have to resave the permalink. Okay. Uh, this usually needs like you just need to make that once when you create the site this site is like pretty new uh, and after that it usually doesn't need it again and again let's pick a image should i no need yeah we don't need image it's fine i'm just gonna get the title and then person names let's add one more example let's call it team two i'm gonna add just two on this one okay name let's make it a little bit different name yeah, that's it let's create our custom page let's imagine we have teams page of course we already use the teams and we don't want to match exactly this slug it is possible to do it but sometimes it creates issues let's do it if it creates issues there is a learning experience i'm fine with it and then let's edit the bricks Oh, of course, of course, I didn't enable it. And it, you see, like it, the <laughs> issue is like I cry, uh, I tried to edit the teams, but it told me, oh, you are you are like trying to edit teams, but you didn't allow the teams to be edited. Weird. So the, this type of weird uh, slug issues may happen. So you don't want to do that. Okay, just make it like that. Easy. Let's edit the bricks. Learning experience. It's not a bug. It is. It is just like there is a conflict between same slugs. You don't want the conflict with same slugs on the bricks uh, on the WordPress itself. Sorry. So let's add a block. Let's loop that, and let's loop it with the themes. Let's add title. Okay. So this is going to be the title. Let's get the title on me simple and after that let's add another um, text and another block as well because we need uh, another loop inside the loop because I want to show multiple teams right how how that is going to work so let me show you so if I if I don't make uh, multiple loops I don't enable loops here let's get the team let's see let's let's just get the name what will happen let's see okay so it will get the all the names same time okay it doesn't loop so if we check the dom see it is inside the same same html dom okay same element same div 
but I don't want to do that. I want to loop it. You know? So because let's say I want to make it each of them like purple, right? Uh, orange or yellow or whatever. But I don't want to make it on the same div. So to do that, let's enable the loop. And after that, click the repeater. And after that, we just need to get the um, oh, no, 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 actually that was correct. I'm just going to get the, uh, yeah, I need this dynamic tag. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's just like, it is almost same name. Like it is, <laughs> when we look at it, let's check the other one too. Like it is almost exactly same. I made it very, very similar to the bricks dynamic tags. So this gets the only single field, single custom field. Okay. If I refresh, each of them will be separately output, okay? And with that, we can just add a background color. Let's make it, yeah, yeah, let's make background color something. And after that, we can give a little bit space, like each play, each of them can have space or like just, just on this one. Five. Yeah. Yeah. And it is possible to make similar stuff like that. Like if, if you want to make like repeaters and create like simple repeaters, this is the way to go. Of course, like ACF or pods or like Metabox and stuff has grouped repeaters. Like you can add like multiple repeaters, like multiple fields inside the repeater and then you can repeat that group multiple times so you can add like more values with those groups but i said this before i'm gonna say it again don't do that because it, it doesn't scale it it has some issues when the data becomes too much when there is too much post with the with those like group grouped repeaters it creates um database issues like database performance issues Speci like especially if you are using like shared hosting or something or small vps or small uh, hosting like it creates issues okay you don't want that like you will end up like installing a caching plugin like if if you do that yeah you will end up just installing static caching plugin don't do that okay keep it optimized keep your database uh, data structure optimized so instead of making group repeaters, just create, just create um, post type, for example, like just, yeah, just create post type and taxonomies. Let me give you another example. So there is, mul there is multiple way to do this setup. So instead of making each team as a one post, we can, let's say a taxonomy, let's call this team category. Okay, let's add taxonomy. And after that, let's delete this stuff. Easy. And let's add one more custom field, why not? Team fields, 50, 50. Let's make this one person on. And let's make this person, I don't know, Instagram. Yeah, you, you got the point. So let's make it 33, 33, to repeat this more than enough. Let's select the post types. Otherwise, it doesn't register. So, and I don't have to make this repeater. I don't. I don't need it because I'm gonna group them with the taxonomy with proper structure. Okay. Save the fields. Let's add one or two example. Couple examples. So, each person, each each post will become one person. Okay. Let's call this team one. 
this is going to be on the team one of course some people can share multiple teams if you like that's possible let's call this sinan okay uh sinan i mean i i, I don't have to write like name here oh yeah yeah you can make the name as a title of course like it, this become pointless almost but fine you guys got the point let's uh make the phone number something like that okay and instagram yeah sure let's make the instagram publish oh of course we can make image as well let's select that i added something i should add some example images that just create this site that's it and then of course we can create multiple um persons like that let's go to the teams page again let's edit the uh, edit with bricks and then this time i'm i can get multiple taxonomies i can literally loop the taxonomies in, instead of uh, these fields okay so we can get like multiple stuff so this can be the name so this can be the whatever phone number this can be the uh, person instagram actually in this in this case specific case i think i would use like just uh, icon list you know just uh get the because you, you can like assign some nice icons like phone like the name so this can become a tag if i write a tag this comes up uh, yeah something like that like tag and then we can get custom field directly here it is much much cleaner simpler and then i can get the instagram here so instagram url can be that or actually we want to get the name when the name is clicked we want that to be the link yeah this setup is much much better i usually do that instead of that yeah let's check we are looping the teams yeah looks good perfect name if i click it goes to the right place perfect so the idea is like we can group people like that and the good thing is it is possible to loop loop the terms only okay so instead of looping the post types we can just loop the terms okay multiple terms so for that i need to add um let's add a couple things to three okay let's save it i probably need to add a couple more posts not just one but i'm just gonna try it let's see okay so i'm gonna loop this as a term oh it is working actually perfect so it, it is just Oops. let's check perfect and after that this inside this loop let's wrap with a block block and then let's loop it again okay so just themes and i think i don't need to enable this thing sometimes i do but let's check yeah it just works yeah definitely it just works so now it is looping each term okay so i can let me prove it uh, each taxonomy term coming one by one let me term id and let's get the name too term oh this is snn uh get this one yeah i want to use the bricks one much better i have i have lots of dynamic tags like like most people have no idea uh, let's get the name too yeah id and name so we, we have unique id too 
Sí. Mm, oh, ups. Here. Oops. No, it's correct. Yeah. Because on this block, on this query, we are looping the terms. On this block, on this query, we are looping the posts. We are getting the post inside of that term. Okay. So it's possible to loop stuff like that. This is this is a little bit harder to set up, I know. But honestly, I mean not for me, I am used to it. But honestly, it is much, much, much scalable. It is not even comparable with the shit stuff people are doing on the ACF or Metabox. Okay? Stop grouping repeaters inside the repeater. It's not a good idea. It's not a good way to build loops and queries. This is the way to go. Use all of them. Use absolutely all of them. Post type, taxonomies, and custom fields. When you learn the basics, like you just need to practice a little bit. When you yeah, when you understand how you need to build loop inside the loop, it just naturally co like come to you. Like you will you will understand how you need to set up the structure later on. Okay. So do it like that. So I think this is a good example. And tell me if you guys want me to explain more complex post type or taxonomy structures. I mean, I, I try to keep it as simple as possible on this video, but I think it is very, very important. I want to like teach more stuff like that because most of the people have no fucking idea. Most of the even professionals have no idea. They are still recommending repeater inside the repeater. I'm getting really angry, honestly. So that's why someone needs to talk about this stuff. <laughs> someone needs to teach this like optimized and scalable structures, scalable data structures inside the WordPress because it is possible. You just need to know how to do it. That's it. Simple. Okay. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you guys on the next video. Bye.